Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel if you guys are new. My name is Minky and this is The Glam Guide. So today we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Welcome back to my living room floor. And <laughs> we're going to be chatting about some things that I have been thinking about and wanted to share with you guys and get some insight from you guys. And also we are going to be doing a full face of affordable makeup. A lot of this makeup I have not yet tried, but we are going to try today. So if I fail to mention anything, then all the products that I have used, and all the items that I have used, you guys will find in the description box down below. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, let's start with some primer. I am going to be using this. This is the... L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. Quickly, I just want to mention that L'Oreal actually did send me some, some products. These products are actually from the L'Oreal and Karl Lagerfeld collection. If you guys don't know, Karl Lagerfeld was a renowned fashion designer, fashion icon, the head designer or creative director or something like that um, for Chanel. Um, at the time of his passing so it was very sad news in the fashion community this is one of the last projects that he worked on before his passing so it's a little bit of a tribute so I'm going to be using some of these products from this collection I do not have all of them I really wish that I had all of them because I would have liked to review the entire collection simply because you have to buy it as an entire collection it is a collector's item if that makes sense so it comes as a collection with eyeshadows and lipsticks and lip glosses, I believe, mascaras, highlights, all of that good stuff. As I said, I wanted to review it as an entire collection so that I could let you guys know if it was worth getting or not. Um, but I do have a couple of the items here, so I will be trying them out and letting you guys know what I think of them and also leaving all the other information down below so you guys can check out the collection and purchase it if you wish. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to be starting with this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. And I feel like I need one of these primers because my pores, girl, my pores have just been doing a whole lot of nothing these days. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to chat to you guys about is something that I didn't really address on YouTube. Actually, I didn't address it at all on YouTube because at the time I wasn't really on YouTube. But one of the things that I did want to address when it actually happened was everything that was happening with uh, gender-based violence in South Africa. Bro, I think everything happened in September. September, I think as a country, we were going through the absolute most. Seriously, you could literally feel it. It was, I think to a certain extent, it was even tangible. It, it felt tangible in the air that like, we are not okay as a country and we are going through a lot. And also at the same time, because it was the whole thing with Uyen and it passing, yo. Oh, guys, I can't, I can't even fathom, I can't even fathom that that is in actuality the country that we're living in right now. And this is the thing, right? I am South African. I am proudly South African, will continue to be proudly South African. But some of the things that are happening here, guys, like, wow, 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 wow. And I'm bringing it up now as well, because... I just feel like, you know, everything has obviously died down a little bit since that time. But at the same time, it's kind of like we can't be outraged as a country for a month. You know what I mean? Like, we can't just be outraged for a month and then everyone forgets and then we, like, carry on with our lives. I feel like this is something that we need to continue to speak about. It's Something that we need to continue to try and like learn about and educate ourselves and each other on because if we just forget then or if we just forget or you know we're no longer interested in that topic and whatever then it's just going to keep on happening it's just going to keep on happening and it's never going to stop at the same time of all of that there was like i think it was like the xenophobic attacks or something like that like it was a lot and one thing that I did mention 
when it came to that because we were obviously going through the most as a country and one thing that i did mention i don't know if you guys saw it on my um on my insta story but i was like it was kind of good to see that in the midst of everything happening right we you could see that everyone was everyone kind of had like a role you know and everyone was active in in playing that role and i said that it's so important because you know there were so many people um on social media people that had not even set foot in south africa that were talking about how horrible we were as a country and how we deserve what is happening to us and like whoa like whoa you know people that have never even been here people that don't even really understand look i'm not excusing um what was happening and and all of that i'm really not excusing it but at the same time it's kind of like every country has their own problems okay like deal with your problems in your country and let us just figure out our own domestic issues <laughs> like people were saying so much negative stuff like to a point where i was just like i was actually offended i was like guys this this can never like be a real thing like can people really like be this horrible you know it was like it was almost as if like as south africans we we were enjoying what was happening like it seemed like the way people from outside were speaking about us and were speaking about our, our country it was kind of like it was like we enjoyed it you know what i mean like we enjoyed what was going on and we were like no we don't want this like we don't want these things to be happening in our country like this is terrible you know because some of the things were so terrible and so i mentioned that you know there was a lot of false information being spread and how we needed to be really um conscious and responsible with all our platforms and make sure that everything that we are posting um about what was going on in the country at the time and i think this can even apply moving forward we need to be responsible with our platforms we also need to be um we also need to be mindful about what we're posting and we need to be sure about what we're posting because there was a lot of stuff that i mean i saw a video that i shared on facebook about how there were certain things that were happening and people were saying that that's happening in our country but it was like happening in different countries and it had happened like months ago and people were saying that it was happening in south africa at the time and all it was doing was causing confusion and outrage right so i was like we need to be really really careful with what we're posting and is what we're posting helping or is it making a bad situation even worse because things are already bad you know we don't need to be making things even worse by posting information that is not entirely true also it's important i think moving forward as a country that we all do our bit and that was something that i also mentioned that it was really good to see that everyone was well what i saw on social media anyways everyone was like doing what they could you know and i said people that are good at you know um organizing rallies and peaceful protests and stuff like that like do that people that are the prayer warriors because our country needs more prayer than anything else you know do that like let us pray for our country if you feel like you can be effective in the area of prayer then pray for your country and also we all had a duty to speak positively into our country what we want to see it is important that we speak it says in proverbs that the power of life and death lies in the tongue okay so whatever whatever you say is what is going to come to pass and so there's already so many people in different countries and stuff like that that were just saying a whole lot of really horrible horrible things about south africa like as south africans we don't need to be doing that anymore we don't we don't need to be speaking negatively over our country we need to speak positivity into our country and life into our country because at the same like this is our home 
you know this is our home this is where we belong we need to be like super mindful of what we're saying and how we treat each other and what like what we're speaking into into our home i wouldn't want to be anywhere else besides south africa this is my home and i love it here you know and we have our own issues you know we have our own problems but which like which country doesn't which country is perfect you know and so we just need to take it and do what we can to make our country better in in whichever way we see fit you know so that is just my two cents on on the entire bit and i really do hope i you know i have so much hope for this country at the end of the day i want to see it grow i want to see it become what we've always thought and and wanted it to be i want to raise my kids here i don't want to leave i want to have a family here i want to do everything here this is my home i don't know how many times i've said home but it is my home you know and that's that on that that's that's just my two cents that is just how i feel so it is important that we all just you know play our parts in in trying to make this country a better country and and in, in whichever way we see fit, look, Rome wasn't built in a day and one person can't change everything. But if we all come together and do a little bit, things surely have to change. Okay, so I was using these two foundation sticks. Um, I was using the L'Oreal Infallible, uh, what is the stick sculpt, stick sculptant Yeah, oh, long way shaping stick. And it is a foundation. So... For my foundation, I use the color 220 Toffee, and then for um, for my contour, I used, and then for my contour, I used the shade 240, which is the color Espresso, and I really like it. These were actually a lot creamier than I thought they, they would be for some reason. They were actually super, super creamy, so, and they blended really easily, so I'm definitely going to be using those more because they feel really nice on the skin, and yeah. I would say that they're probably like a more medium coverage, but they're definitely buildable because they feel light, but I think that this is enough foundation for me for the day. And then for the highlight for my concealer, I was using this. This is the NYX Can Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer, and this one is in the color Golden. As I said, I will link everything down below, but I thought I should just mention those. And this concealer is also really nice. I have quite yellow undertones in my skin. I don't know, the light is like whiling a little bit today. But um, I have like yellow undertones in my skin. So this actually works really well and it complements it nicely. So yeah, let's move on. In other news, um, yesterday I was actually watching um, the reality show the uh what's this girl's name faith faith and getty's reality show so she's got a new reality show that is on mtv mtv base i believe i'm not 100 percent sure because i watched it on youtube so um i was watching her reality show and it was actually quite interesting and i really want to unpack it with you guys what i thought and and all of that because Faith has been someone who has been rather controversial this year um, not just this year but this year especially so I just wanted to tell you guys I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys and see what you guys think I don't know if any of you guys have seen it comment down below in the comments if you have seen that reality show but I watched it yesterday as I said on YouTube and it was rather interesting I saw the trailer for it before it came out and it was something that was actually on my to watch list because as I said she's been a really controversial figure and I'm not like here to drag her or whatever because that really isn't my place like that's not who I am so um but I am going to sort of like give my opinion and my take on on what is on what is going on um but yeah so she tackles a few topics um <laughs> she tackles a few topics in in her show and we're introduced to her um we're introduced to sort of like her circle of friends her pa and her best friend which is also her business partner i believe we were also introduced to her mom so before i carry on this is the eyeshadow palette that i'm going to be using i cannot wait to use this 
how gorgeous are these colors no way so today i'm going to be going for a little bit of a more neutral look but as time goes on um i will create another look with the palette using maybe another two looks actually using the greens and the pinks and whatever because it's absolutely beautiful i don't know if this was a limited edition or not i don't think so i think that it's still available but yeah i'm going to be using this palette today and this is the off tropic palette by nyx cosmetics in the show she is introduced as like an influencer but i mean i think she's past that and one thing that she mentions is when that that video came out i don't remember when it actually came out maybe the year last year or the year before i'm not 100 percent sure but she mentions that video you guys know what video i'm talking that video i think that she is a celebrity in my opinion i think that she has transcended influencerness influencer status and she is now a celebrity simply because her lifestyle is really grand um she obviously makes like a whole lot of money um and also like she dates like celebrities and stuff like that like for me she's just a celebrity you know she's dated like david o and stuff like that so in my personal opinion she is a celebrity some may beg to differ but i think she is a celebrity anyways i digress so she mentions that video and um she speaks about where she was when that video dropped and all of that and <sighs> guys you know what was interesting to me is um she mentioned how when it happened she obviously had to tell her parents because you definitely need to tell your parents <laughs> like when something like that happens like you definitely need to tell an adult you know you have to tell your parents and stuff like that because you don't want them to like find out you know via newspapers or find out um you know via other people and stuff like that like you don't want that so she mentions how she told her mom about it she called her mom and she told her mom what had happened and she tried to explain the situation to her mom and whatever and she says how her mom and her stepdad were really supportive during that time and what's so crazy to me is you know sometimes i feel like we can underestimate our parents because i know that i have been in situations that were really really bad situations and when i thought my mom would react really badly or my parents would react really badly like they actually were supportive not to say that they weren't mad all right not to say that they weren't like what do you mean but they were supportive nonetheless life can actually be really really difficult when you don't have supportive um parents like it things can get really really tough you know so she spoke about how her parents were really supportive and all of that she also tackles the issue of the what she was accused of with the trafficking and whatnot that one was a bit of a tough one and this is the thing right look i don't know her um i don't know what the situation was i don't know i don't even know how that conversation even came about in south africa um i wasn't at twitter at the time that all of that stuff came out because I, I don't have twitter but at that particular point when that entire story came out i wasn't on twitter but i mean you didn't have to be on twitter exclusively to know what was going on or to at least like hear stories and stuff like that and let me start by saying that those are very serious allegations okay those are those are really serious allegations to accuse someone of and i think that unless you are 100 and 25 percent sure a million percent sure that that is the case that that person is guilty of such things because we live in a world that that is the reality okay and that stuff happens all the time <sighs> guys those were very serious allegations oh he said that she obviously didn't know anything about it and whatever and i believe that she was given this reality show to tell her truth you know and i think that as people 
we really need to um like we can't be the judge the jury and the executor you know because we don't actually know what happens and um we don't know what happens and we're not there to see certain things that happen. We just sort of are more inclined to believe what we see on social media and, and with conversations with friends and stuff like that. So she said that she obviously had nothing to do with it. She didn't know where those, those rumors came out of and whatever. And I don't know. At the end of the day, it, it's not even my job or really anyone else's to crucify her for something that we really don't know and if that is the case that um you know she did she really did and she was guilty of those things then that's for god that's like between her and, and her god you know what i mean but the people who have made things up if if it is that this entire thing was made up um then the people that were instrumental in this entire thing, they will also be taken to task by God. But it is, it's not really up to us. You know, that's, that's just my stance on it. So anyway, so it was really interesting for me to see. I think that we're going to get to see her in a, in a different light in this. And as I said, I believe that she was given this opportunity so she could, she could tell her truth. And I'm, I'm going to be watching and I'm keen to see what what is going to come of it. Okay, so I have been using, um, so this is the color that I've pretty much used all over my lid. And then this is the color that I just put on the corners. I'm going to go in with this gold shade. Um, oh. It's a little bit chunky, but really pretty. There we go. So I'm going to be using this gold shade and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. Okay, so I'm going to just get rid of all of this powder. So yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this entire thing. Um, and will you guys be watching the reality show? Have you seen it? Will you be watching? And what are your thoughts? I'm really eager to hear. I look so washed out in this light. Um, I promise that's not the case, but I don't know what is going on. As I said, the, the light is really whiling today, but anyways. Okay, so I'm going to be bronzing my face. I'm actually going to be using this. This is the Palladio Matte Bronzer. Mine is, oh, mine is really broken. <laughs> and actually, Danica from Crease Nation put me onto this. And it's actually a really nice bronzer. But you shouldn't use too much. Because if you use too much, it's going to make a mess. How could I forget? Actually, congrats to the box. Okay, congrats to the spring box. Well done on your World Cup win. That is awesome. I feel like we can really be unified through sports. But I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of rugby. So there's that. My friend's husband plays rugby, but... Ugh. <laughs> it's a tough one rugby is just a really tough game you know um, but it's nice that we won um, it's always nice to win <laughs> it's always nice to win so it's cool that we won and yeah well done to the boys well done well done well done I was reading some really terrible stuff that people were saying about Rachel Colisi, who is the captain of the of the um, of the Springboks wife. I don't know her. I have never met her. My only sort of like thing with her, she apparently like is in controversy every now and again. But my only thing, like if I had to give her advice, not that she probably cares, but. If I had to give advice to anyone really is it's really important that you keep your relationship, especially your marriage, especially your marriage or a really serious relationship. Um, keep your domestic issues private. You need to always protect your partner, right? Because people are not as forgiving as you are. 
What I mean by that is that something may happen and eventually you will forgive your partner, but other people, other people are not going to do that, you know, and they're not going to do that like as easily and that goes for family members and stuff as well and it's just human nature because we want to protect the people that we love but in her case i think that it's really important that like keep your domestic issues like private and stuff like that because there are so many people that are like jealous of her position and that want to see her fail that want to see her her marriage fail and like that's the sad reality with people you know they want to see that and so you give people that leverage when you speak about that at the end of the day it doesn't matter who you're married to you can be married to the richest most handsome person on the place on the face of the planet but it doesn't mean that your relationship is going to be perfect it's important that we we protect each other as people in relationships but people were saying such nasty things about her i was like guys chill <laughs> like it is such a happy occasion it is such a happy occasion like we just won the world cup and all that other stuff like chill there's no need to drag someone that you you don't actually know and to just say some like really mean and and unfounded things about her because she didn't do anything you know right now well this past weekend she didn't do anything to like deserve that but people went in on her anyways okay guys i quickly want to go add some eyelashes okay, so i'm back I did add some eyelashes. I'm just going to be using some of the mascara from the L'Oreal and Karl Lagerfeld collection to just blend my natural lashes into the falsies. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of highlight, but I'll show you that in a second. Yeah. Well, in any case, I like Rachel. I think... Shame. I think she's cool. I think she's just... like. She's a mom, <laughs> you know, she's a wife. Where's my thing? Oh. She's a mom, she's a wife. Like she's just trying to figure this life thing out like the rest of us. And you know what guys, make no mistake. It is so tough being married to a professional athlete. And like, if you are not married to one or you're not dating one, then you won't know. But I am telling you firsthand, it is the absolute pit sometimes okay it's really nothing like how you see on tv on wags and whatever when they're always fabulous and like it's really not like that like oh. <sighs> that is another video for another day i already feel like this video is like a hundred minutes long i'm going to be using some of this this is the highlight from the collection <sighs> and um it actually looks really pretty so let's see. Can you guys see that? That's really pretty. It's like a really subtle highlight. So there's two colors. I'll just swatch them for you. So there's this color, which is more of like a white shade. And then the color in the middle is more of like a gold shade. So this one is like a, like a, an icy toned, like an icy cool toned, maybe like pink silvery pink and then this one is more gold so i think that the way that the way that they designed it was for you to be able to mix them and for it to suit most complexions which i'm not mad at so i'm just mixing the two of them together and just like adding them that's really pretty it's giving such a nice glow just gonna take some and put it on my nose i'm gonna take a little bit of the gold in the middle and just add it onto my nose just in the middle there. Give that a little bit of a one, two, one, two. But on the brow bone, I don't even remember the last time I highlighted my brow bone. Wow. I've become so lazy when it comes to makeup. <laughs> like when it comes to doing makeup in my everyday life, I have become super lazy. Well, that is it, guys, for the final look. As I said, everything you guys will find linked down below. Other than that, I really hope that you guys had a great time chit-chatting with me. I hope this video isn't too long. I feel like it's going to be, but I hope it's not too, too long. And yeah, I really love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Comment about anything that you guys would want me to see or to chat about. Also comment what you thought of the video, your thoughts on some of the topics that I touched on and all that other good stuff. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Mwah. Bye.